processing an XML document using simple XML involves with using the simple XML element class. Trying to instantiate simple XML element, passing over the name, the file name of a specific XML document, we shall get a reference for a simple XML element object that represents the root element of that specific XML document. In this case, the root element is the classroom element. Trying to access a property that its name is a name of a child element, as in this case, in this case the classroom element has five children each one of them is a student element trying to access the property student in this case shall return an array of simple XML element objects that each one of them represent specific student element in the XML document. If the classroom element add one child only, meaning only one student element, then trying to access the property student would have returned a simple XML element object that represents that specific student child. Anyway, in this case, the classroom element has more than one child, therefore, dollar classroom arrow student returns an array of simple XML element objects. An array that each one of its objects represent a specific student element in this document. Using a simple for each loop, we can iterate the objects, the array old, and each iteration dollar $OB shall represent a specific student element in this document. If an XML element, as in this case, has an attribute or attributes, we can access the values of those attributes treating the simple XML element object as if it is an associative array that its keys are the names of the attributes and its values are the values of those attributes. In this case, $OB uh, and ID within square brackets shall return the value of the ID attribute of the specific student dollar $OB represents. Here we can see um, the same idea we saw before when explaining uh, this specific code. Each student has two childs. The first, its name is name, and the second, its name is birthday. Child, birthday. Each birthday element has three childs their names are day, month, and year. Therefore, this is how we get their values. Let's see how does it work.